Okay, then we're going to talk about um, how to provide appropriate assistance from someone who's going up and down the stairs. It's really important for obvious reasons why we need to be um, diligent when assisting someone going up and down the stairs because it can lead to a really serious issue if someone falls. So the worst case scenario when someone is going down the stairs is if um, they were to trip and fall forward, right? Um, so it's important that when you're providing um, assistance that you are in front of that person. Now it's also important to realize that we can't have a narrow base of support because if we have a narrow base of support then we tend to lose our balance a little bit more easily. And that also means on the stairs we have to be mindful of where our feet are. So we, um, a, a good technique is to stagger your feet um, on one foot on each stair. And I'll demonstrate as Allie is coming down the stairs. So you always want to have a hand on the person if that's just a level of assistance that they require. And it's good to have one foot up and one foot down, whether it's um, a stair in between or not. Just um, have a good stable base of support. You can also keep a hand on the shoulder as you have a hand on the gate belt. And then just slowly walk your feet down as they move down. Okay, so now doing the reverse, going back up the stairs, the worst possible um, scenario that could happen is that Allie is going up and falls backwards. And um, that's something we would want, obviously, to avoid. So when someone is going up the stairs, you want to pro provide support from behind them. And I'll demonstrate that. Hand on the gate belt, same sort of thing. Hand on the front of the shoulder if you like. Keep the feet staggered. Good wide base of support. Okay, now we're going to talk about safety um, when going up and down a ramp. You can use the same principles um, that we talked about during stair navigation um, with, in the fact that you have to be in front of somebody to prevent an uncontrolled um, movement down a ramp. Um, also, you'd like to be behind somebody when they're going up the ramp just in case they lose their control and they, they stagger backwards. So this can be completed with or without contact guard. Uh, if someone has standby guard, this can be done um, just the same. So if Allie is a little bit more independent, she just needs someone um, standby guard and she's going down this ramp, I want to kind of stay in front of her. I'm obviously watching where I'm going as well, but um, they're only going to be able to move as fast as you're going to allow them. So just um, pace yourself when um, you're guarding someone walking down the ramp. And always stay ready with your hands out just in case something were to happen. So have Ali turn around and we'll go up the ramp. Same. Now this is more of a traditional standby guard or contact guard. You want to stay to the side and behind the person you're supporting. And always be ready for um, something bad to happen. Um, if Ali were to lose her balance and stagger backwards, she would be right here to then provide that support.